there's just one last thing that we have to take care of around our form. The one thing we haven't discussed here is what we should do with the user after they make a campaign. Personally, I think that after a user uses this form to make a new campaign, we should then automatically redirect our user back to the root route of our application. If we do that, then after making the new campaign, the user can go back to the root route, see a list of all the campaigns, and see that their new campaign has been created. So this starts to lead us into the topic of navigation with Next.js. Navigation comes built in to Next. So Next has its own navigation system that we can make use of. However, it has one big problem associated with it. So I'm first gonna tell you what that problem is, and then I'll tell you how we're gonna solve the problem. So here's the problem with Next.js's routing system. We've been talking about all the different pages that we were gonna have inside of our application. And at this point, we've made the first two pages on this table right here. In a little bit, we're gonna start working on some other routes. That's gonna be the bottom three that you see on this table. Notice how these three other routes that we had previously discussed had some piece of like wildcard information or some variable or token placed in the URL. The variable is the address of the campaign that the user is trying to look at. So in one case, a user might be trying to look at the campaign with address 8147. And then in another case, they might be trying to look at the campaign with address 123AEC. So we want this piece of the URL right here to be able to change, but even if it changes, we want to still show the respective page that we have created for it. Now, this little wildcard or this token thing right here is exactly what Next.js does not have support for out of the box. In other words, Next.js cannot be used by default, like right out of the box, for dynamic routing. And that's what we're trying to do right here. So instead, we're going to use a little helper module that helps us set up dynamic routing specifically in set inside of a Next.js application. I've already pulled up the documentation for this helper module. Here it is right here. So the library we're going to use is called Next Routes. And this has some dynamic routing helpers specifically for Next. If we scroll down the page a little bit, you'll see the installation directions. We're first going to install this as an NPM module. We'll then make a new routes.js file inside of our project. And inside of there, we, we will require the module and then use it to add on some of the different routes that we expect to have inside of our application. So let's install this module right now and then start to set up some of this routing. Back at my terminal, I'm going to install the module with npm install dash dash save next dash routes, like so. Now this is gonna take a minute to run, so let's pause right here and come back in the next video and start setting up our, our routing.